Hey, what's going on everyone? Nukem Finance here, and today I have an exciting video. It, it makes me, I haven't been this excited since when we first found out about Hylion, where you actually see uh, actual real world cars, demonstration, mileage, and an exciting uh, whole sector. So it's another EV, of course, but this one targets this bus. So regular public transportation, school buses for kids, and airport. So you know how you have airport shuttles, they take people and they go back and forth over and over. It's a lot of driving around that circle. So this one answers all that problems. This is really exciting because you got Hylion with the um, powertrain same as Tesla. And if you believe in Nikola, they have that as well. They already have pickup trucks and retail space. And then Nikola is going to garbage truck space. So this one is another interesting space. If this company can capitalize on it, it could give you huge returns. Now, I want to state, keep in mind, this is all speculative and it's a penny stock. So it, you, you could gain a lot of money or you could lose a lot of money. So only invest what you're willing to lose. I bought a hundred shares and it was very cheap, about $2.50 when I bought it. So I don't have a lot invested. It's just there just in case it does blow up and I can sleep fine if I lose it. I'm not a financial advisor. So if you guys want me to ever check out your stocks or your whole portfolio investing strategy or just wanna see how I trade stocks in general, then I just created a Patreon and you can sign up there if you want to do join me and support me that way. Uh, so this stock right now is not listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So you can't buy it on Robinhood, you can't buy it on Webull, and you can't buy it on M1 Finance. However, you can buy it on Charles Schwab. I put a link to my referral code below. Basically, you make account and you donate and you deposit one thousand dollars. They'll give you a hundred dollars and they'll give me a hundred dollars. So basically, they give you free money if you use my referral code. If you decide to use brokerage, Charles Schwab is my main brokerage account. As you can see in my IRA account, my retirement account, I have one hundred twenty thousand dollars there. And in my main investing account, I have over like close to two hundred thousand dollars in my main investing account. While, while my Robinhood is like 400,000, my M1 Finance is like 35,000, and my Webull is just 1,000. This is why I usually mainly trade with because Charles Schwab gives you the most in-depth insights to where it's a mix between Robinhood and Webull with the analytics, and it's uh, friendly enough for you to understand, so it's a good middle ground for me to invest in. So as you can see, this company is called Green Mortar Company and it is trading at $3.31. It has a huge run up. So for the past month, you can see this was under a uh, dollar a share. It was around $80 a share in the past several days. It has just jumped up since this company is uh, getting finally recognition and they just finally listed for an IPO on the New York Stock Exchange and we're waiting for approval, then you guys can do invest in your regular trading apps, Robinhood, Webull, and M1 Finance once it goes on the regular New York Stock Exchange. Keep in mind, once it goes into New York Stock Exchange, if it gets approved, this stock is gonna blow up huge because regular investors would just flood into it and it's more accessible. So that's one thing that you could do if you want a quick gain. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. So let's take a look into this company. All right, guys, first off, I appreciate if you guys can smash the like button and if you do subscribe for this research, I appreciate that as well. All right. All right, guys, now that you smash the like button, so let's show you the three main business. It has an EV spot star, where it's the airport business, then the uh, regular transport business, and then you also have the school system, which is called the BEAST, standing for Battery Electric Automotive School Transportation. I think that's a great acronym. It remembers like, I'm gonna pre-order some BEAST for my kids. All right, so here, let's take a look. So they have videos. I'll show you all these videos they have. It's actually a real world demonstration, but it's kind of cool. I'll, I'll put the full video um, at the end, but it talks about these drivers who goes to the airport and they have to go on the same route over and over and they can do a charge on the whole day that process. And it makes very a lot of sense. You can see this is in San Diego Airport in California. So it has real world data to it, which makes it exciting. Unlike another uh, company that's just selling you Photoshop rendered images and garbage trucks. Uh, might represent what the company is. So this company is not that, it actually has real world stuff. So let's take a deeper look where it talks about um, 
the focus of the company. Now it comes in several different variants, the EV, EV Star, EV Star Plus, EV Ada. You can see it has different law version catering to what uh, the customer needs or the client needs. It all has the same battery electric size and it holds different uh, capacities. Like here it's 20, 25, and it's a bigger one. And then this is like, it has a wheelchair, 12 plus a standard two Ada wheelchair. So different tastes for your needs. Pretty, pretty cool and exciting. So you can see this is in a parking lot test, the battery technology there. It just takes people from the shuttle court and has nice looking, good, comfy seats. So very exciting and a wheelchair accessible. So they're really thinking uh, innovatively here. You go in the back and then it brings you up. And then it has a little EV part right there. Look at how big that charging cord you need. You need to really get a quick charge right there. So exciting. Let's go ahead and go to the other product right here, transit buses. Now this is gonna be huge right now in New York. I know they're, um, I think New York or Florida, they're testing electric buses and they just did some stupid move. They're like, oh yeah, electric buses is doing well in our testing. So let's go ahead and invest in not only electric bus, hybrid technology. So why don't you just go full in electric instead of go hybrid, but this is a solution here. You can see low floor electric bus and it has real world demonstrations. Take a look at this. You can actually see it driving right there and then uh, Portville Transit. It looks, it looks great real world on the road in the freeway. They have another cool one I wanna show you guys. So this is uh, a highway right here. You can see it's just traveling fine. Looks like it's just regular bus with, uh, with low emissions. So I appreciate going downhill. They have downhill at this. And this is in California right here. This definitely looks California. So you can see it's an e, uh, EV. Uh, they have three different ones, version 250, the 350, and the 550. Uh, the small one is between a 30 to 32 foot. So depending on what size you need, 40, and then 45 double-decker bus. Oh man, Remi reminds me of Brit Britain, the double-decker buses, the red ones. I don't know why I think about Britain. And the doors, you can see the battery is different. So it can be a uh, light battery and double 430 and then 480. And it ranges around 175 miles, 200 and 175 uh, miles. So overall, it has many different things. I don't think there's gonna be uh, buses. I don't think they travel long range miles in general in a, diff in a general day driving, so I don't think you need that uh, huge range compared to traditional ICE vehicles. I didn't take a look at um, the mileage here. Okay, they didn't tell you how many mileage, but at the top speed at 65 miles an hour. I don't know if you want these type of vehicles going that fast for an airport. Now let's take a look at this last product line, the Beast. Uh, right here, the school shuttle buses once you get kids going. So you can see it has a different front, very really flat. You can't really tell it's EV. Most of their buses, you can't tell they're uh, EV buses, but they only have one uh, school bus here. It goes up to 150 miles on a single charge, okay? So let's take a look at this beast school bus here. And this is a real world demonstration. Look at how beautiful that looks where you actually can see the inside, you can see real world data, you have a test drive. I mean, this is fantastic. This is what you wanna see when you want to invest in a brand new startup company, unlike another company who just gives you Photoshop and a bunch of lies. Um, this one, it's exciting. Okay, so as always in a new startup company, their finance is not gonna look that great. Here is their financial page. You can go to their investor relations. Uh, I blew up for you guys, but this is a concern if you guys are investors. Right now, you can see uh, this is in March 31st, 2020. They have uh, currently $8 million worth of current assets. Total assets have 13 million. Their total liability is 7.3 million and their total liability is 14. So that means they have more in debt and more liabilities than they have in assets. So that means they're gonna have to raise capital as well. So that means they're going to have to raise capital as well, which makes it scary, which is gonna dilute the shares, but you're gonna need to, any startups, they're gonna need to raise capital. You see it all the time with Tesla, 
Uh, Nikola Hylion, well, I don't think Hylion raised capital because they're doing that merger and they have plenty of money. But Workhorse, uh, they just recently raised capital back in December and got $70 million. So I would say they have to do it as well. So it is a spec stock and it's kind of cheap, only I did invest a lot into it. I suggest do your own research before jumping in. And if you guys want to invest in the stock, you can go through my Charles Schwab uh, referral link below and it allows you to invest in it now before it goes on to New York Stock Exchange. And you can invest in any Canadian companies and usually companies worldwide that's not on the stock exchange since Charles Schwab is connected to all those other uh, countries. As well as my Patreon link below if you want to support me or see all my trades or have me actually look at your finance portfolio and give you suggestions. I appreciate that as well. So let's go ahead and watch the rest of this uh, promo video. Appreciate the like button, guys. San Diego Airport Parking is one fleet that decided to make the switch to electric. We do 50,000 miles a year. You know, long hauls do 50 to 70,000. The regular vocation in our size of a vehicle does 25,000. As long as I do the same thing every day, I'm not taking risk by moving my vehicle so many different places and not knowing where I'm gonna charge again. I can make a plan and I can stick to it. The Green Shuttle Pilot Program was an opportunity for SDAP to specifically get infrastructure installed. We wouldn't have been able to accomplish this without the subsidies in place. Having explored the option of retrofitting their existing vehicles, SDAP opted instead for a purpose-built electric shuttle. Green Power's EV Star, electric from the ground up. The EV Star for us was perfect for multiple reasons. We've got dual charging for AC and DC. It's got a fuel economy of 0.77 kilowatt hours per mile, which is phenomenal for a class four vehicle. It's got payload of 4,500 pounds. It's a beautiful bus inside and out. It gave us way more than what we ever thought we would have in a bus. We're proving right now that this is not only a smart decision for the environment, but it's a good business decision. And that's really where, you know, we've been trying to drive our foot in the ground a little bit, making these vehicles perhaps, you know, more reliable, more serviceable. And we've got some challenges ahead. I mean, the whole industry does. Um, but we're meeting them. The reason I like the space of the heavy duty vehicles and the medium duty vehicles is that they're on the road all the time. They're highly utilized. You and I can go out and buy a battery electric car, zero emission vehicle, and we're maybe on the road for an hour a day. These vehicles are on the road for 12 hours a day. So if you think about it, the amount of impact on the environment that these vehicles has is far greater. Lower maintenance is definitely associated with zero emissions vehicles. Uh, there's no transmission, there's no oil changes, reduced fluid maintenance. Uh, typically, you can expect somewhere in the neighborhood of about a 50% increase in brake life due to regenerative braking. It might sound like a small incremental savings. However, when you start multiplying that for some of your larger fleets, uh, it represents a significant dollar amount. We really want to be able to share our charging infrastructure with other fleet operators that are interested in adoption. We do know that it's going to create challenges, and the more that we can support the technology, I think the better that we all can prove that it can work. I think one of the biggest things we can do is actually lead by example. So in the beginning of 2020, we're going to be receiving about 26 electric shuttles. And I feel like that is a really strong demonstration that this is technology that is ready now for implementation. So as you can see, it's kind of exciting that you have San Diego already testing it on their airport and they already have orders for more for different people. So overall, it's an exciting stock. Uh, to see, I think I'm going to put a couple more hundred dollars, maybe bump up my shares to two to three hundred uh, and then see where it goes. But uh, appreciate your love and support and all the likes and check out the links below, guys. Let me know if you're going to buy it.